Hi, aloha. I am Mike Evans, syndicated radio reporter and on KSSK every day. And a big treat as we talk to you the day after the inauguration. I get to talk to my personal hero and a hero of many back in Hawaii, Neil Abercrombie. Neil, great to see you. Michael John Evans. That's right. All right. That's right. Aloha. I don't know where to begin, but rather than talking about uh, various uh, uh, laws and things that you want to get done, I thought maybe the people in Hawaii might need to know a little bit more about Neil Abercrombie, the man. So let's go oh. back to Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to Buffalo. Let you go back to Buffalo. Uh, <laughs> and I thought we'd have a little game with sure. our uh, with our listeners. Sure. Uh, everybody, take a look at your uh, at your uh, TV and try to pick out the picture of Neil Abercrombie oh, and his class. Oh let's, uh, my goodness! And let's see. Now you got. Uh, they all look like they're not on the top row, Neil. I know that. Uh, I don't know. The kid Who's the, the one that's leading forward? The, the most? kid in the <laughs> the man, That is him. Yeah. Yes, that's Neil Abercrombie. <laughs> In my innocent days. Were you a good yeah, student? Look at my hairline. It was already going back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, were you a good student in uh, school? I, don't know. I, I learned to spell my name early. I thought that was a triumph yeah. with 11 letters in your name. <laughs> that was tough. And and growing up in Buffalo, you couldn't get much different than being in Hawaii. When did That's you true. come That's to Hawaii? Good, it's a good point, Mike. Um, yes, it was. Uh, when it was cold, it was cold. When it was hot, it was hot. There was there were no trade winds to to make things better. And uh, so I had the chance in 1959 when statehood came to, uh, to come to Hawaii. I was offered a, a teaching assistantship in the sociology department at the University of Hawaii. Best thing that ever wow. happened to me. That's great. 1959 was an exciting time. Uh, I was at Hawaii Elementary School marching in the parade the day we became a state. Well, I got I was there about two weeks later is when I arrived, and not much later than that, uh, uh, President Obama's father arrived. Yeah, you, great segue. That's yeah. where I was going next. Tell us about your meeting with the president's father, uh, how that came about, and how it uh, played out. Well, the campus, campus was the same physically, but in terms of numbers, it was a lot smaller. And uh, as it is even today, Day around the central campus that uh, we had a snack bar there instead of uh, some of the buildings that are there now and and so it was easy to meet him he was the first African student to come to uh, uh, UH really and uh, he was so charismatic he was so uh, effervescent and full of life so much vitality that it was very easy to meet him and uh, he was such an extraordinary human being so full of energy so full of views and it was a college campus we all we all knew everything and uh, we're ready to tell everybody about it. So uh, we met him under those circumstances and became fast friends. A whole bunch of people did. Well, when was the first time you set eyes on Barack Obama? Uh, well, of course, that was after he was born. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, uh, Barack Sr. had met his mom uh, in a Russian class. Uh, she was uh, scarce, well, just out of high school, really. And uh, they got married and uh, 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 with statehood, essentially, uh, you know, within a year or so of statehood, uh, uh, Barack Obama was born. Barack Hussein Obama was born. Do you remember him growing up? No, I, I remember as a little boy with his uh, with his grandfather mm -hmm. because his mother and father separated. Right. Uh, that story is pretty well known. And uh, he went. The father went on. Uh, Barack Senior went on to the mainland to go to school, and then back to Kenya. And um, his mom uh, went on married again. And uh, in the process, I would see uh, little Barry as his uh, grandfather called, <laughs> Little Barry and his grandfather mostly, um, uh, all over. Uh, they, they walked everywhere. Uh, Stan uh, Dunham, his grandfather, took him everywhere. And they, they met everybody and knew everybody. I mean, it's Hawaii, right? It was right. easy. You want, you want to be friendly? You want to uh, see people and know people? You can do it. And uh, he did, and, and uh, uh, Little Barry went with him everywhere. I was hoping to maybe save the best for last, but it's so exciting to me, and I know our listeners and viewers who want to, Tell us about last night. It was the inauguration yesterday, as yes. we speak. Uh, a lot of balls taking place. Mm -hmm. You, of course, went to the Hawaii balls. And it's great Hawaiian entertainers. But how do you top that? What do you do after the ball? Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, it was wonderful. The Hawaii State folks did a, a fabulous job. Uh, everybody from Hawaii has connections, family. They put together this, this ball. And uh, so everybody from uh, Raitai Helm to... Uh, um, uh, uh, Eddie Kamai and the Sons of Hawaii, all, all kinds of entertainers there. Terrific, good time. And then uh, we got invited, uh, Nancy, my wife Nancy and I were invited to go to the White House then uh, after all the balls were over to meet with uh, Barack and wow. Michelle uh, in the main reception room there for a little dessert and, and aloha some 
I was pleased to be included among the friends that were there to um, say aloha to them and to congratulate them on their first day as uh, president and first lady. And uh, I was pleased earlier in the day to be at the uh, inaugural luncheon, which was the first official duty uh, of the president to, pre uh, to be a guest of honor at a, a luncheon thrown uh, by the House, given by the House and Senate uh, to the new president. And uh, then to be at the last function wow. of the day, just uh, as they were closing up, uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. It's always great, you know, when you go to a little event and the, and the, the band playing is led by Wynton Marcella. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. We, we got a picture taken and were able to express our last, uh, before he started his first long day, official day, second official day, but official day of, of meetings and, and dealing with all the issues at hand domestically and internationally to be able to uh, uh, say to him that he had the love and respect of everybody in Hawaii. Ne. It was nice when he came to the, uh, the States Bowl. He came in uh, with a lot of alohas oh, yes. uh, as soon as he walked sure. in. Now, the time before Christmas when uh, Barack was uh, on island, I was on mm -hmm. island, and uh, you must be pretty close because I hear you picked him up. Oh, no, 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 not me. I heard you were, no, you, no, you were the there. No, no, the Secret Service him. did that. No, 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 no. Uh, we, we, we spoke on the phone, but uh, um, no, no, no. That, that's, that's strictly... I have to talk to Keith Williams about the yeah. one. Yeah, maybe it was somebody that uh, looked like maybe me. Uh, p a poor thing. But he's a great... <laughs> he certainly is the, the most fresh air we've seen in yes. Washington. No, no, I, I was hiding out in Hana, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, although I will say at the... Uh, at the uh, uh, event, I, I couldn't call it an event, at the, at the uh, cl closing, you know, the little reception, closing reception at the White House last night, um, Oprah Winfrey was there. Really? And I expressed to her and her companion, uh, Stedman, the, uh, sure. who was a very, very fine, friendly, couldn't, couldn't be nicer at the end of a long, long day. I said, uh, we missed you and Hannah at Christmas, <laughs> and they got a kick out of that. And... Uh, um, so uh, uh, not everybody may know um, Oprah has a, some property in a, in a place over in, in Hana. I don't know how often she gets to visit, but uh, I can certainly understand why uh, they would like to. If the people yeah. in the spotlight like that, uh, everybody over in Hana, and by the way, uh, a big aloha to everybody in Hana. It's just the greatest place in the whole world.